Thank you, thank you, thank you for the host. And yes, uh, Vol has found uh, Darren. So, uh, he's found him, but he hasn't talked to him yet. He's just been watching him. I think that might make a good uh, one one call. I think it'd be faster going this way, to be honest. I mean, it would be if I go to, you know... Have you ever had an idea for saying- Oh yes, I've had the idea multiple times. And the thing is, is we can get somebody to play our character, which I've I've um, asked for permission to do before. And I just haven't done the idea yet because I need to get together with the person and finalize it. But yeah, I've had ideas where it's hard to do when you're playing multiple- when multiple of your characters are involved. And it sucks when that happens, but you just gotta play it out. I've Know, where, like the whole Zack and uh, Zed thing where Zed beats on him. You know, it's hard to do when you're both characters, when they want to interview both of you at the same time.
Sound resumed. Um, no, I do not think I'll hit 1k followers this month. You were moved. Some great number one was location of remittance. Yeah, I don't know. About, okay. Hi, um, um, there's, um, okay, so for the past few nights, there's been this guy on a mantras that keeps watching my neighbor's house, and they'll, they'll go to different places and just sit there and watch the house and kind of, when my neighbor leaves, he'll kind of watch where he goes and he kind of follows him a little bit, and he's, he's back again, and it's just, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what kind of vehicle did you say he was on? He's on a, a black Manchez, I think it is. It's either Manchez or Sanchez, but I think it's a Manchez. Okay, what does the person look like? Uh, he, he's wearing like all black. Like he's just completely covered, has gloves on, um, leather jacket, has a, well, a gray and blue helmet on. Sorry, what kind of color um, helmet? Like a gray and blue helmet. Okay, what's going to be the nearest postal? Um, he's in between my, my neighbor's house and mine, so at 2016, but he, he watches the house at 2015. And I know the person who lives there is kind of, um, he's not really, he's a good guy, he's just, there's something wrong with him, but this guy, he just, he's been back multiple nights and he'll sit and watch the house for hours and when the the person who lives there leaves, he'll he'll follow them. Okay, he said he was turned at the house at 2016. Yeah, he's in between the two houses r right over there at 2016. Okay, are you a local caller? Yeah. I'm just worried for my neighbor. Okay, what's the nearest, uh, nearest, nearest street? It's gonna be Grape Seed Main Street. Okay, thank you for calling 911. I'll have uh, county units and route as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. You were moved. Yay. Sound muted. So yes, the reason Vol watches Darren's house and not just goes straight up to him is because Vol is very used to gathering information before going after a target. Now Darren's not a target, he's not trying to harm him or kill him, he's not going to do anything bad to him. It's just how he's been for years and he is just so used to it that he wants to make sure his son is okay from a distance. Which is why he's been, well after he found him, he's been following him. And just kind of watching and waiting. I wonder if I should go put a bike over there first. I'm gonna put a bike over there real fast. So they could, they'll see that and they'll figure out whose um, house it is. Because technically, anyone else could say that that's their address. But with his bike being there, they'll look up the plate, they'll say, okay, it's deer and rails. If they do that, if they don't, that's fine. Yeah, throw two away, but um, you still have to reach out to those thirteen extra people to do some content, which they actually feel like they want to watch again. So it's not as easy as just getting thirteen people. 
I'm amazed I even have this many, to be honest. I never thought I'd even have 50 people, let alone nearly a thousand. Hi, hey buddy. Um, I did that as a little hint to them that, hey, someone's over here. Now, I don't know how they, uh, it is for them, because a lot of people's, it's a lot darker for them than it is for me. Onto the roadway. Nah, I'm good. Matter of fact, stay right here. <laughs> to take it up onto the roadway. No, no, go back up here. Or stay up here. <laughs> which one, which one, which do you want to do? Why are you getting out that side? Turn off the bike for me. How you doing, sir? What can I do for you? Uh, Deputy Aaron's across from me is Sergeant Wolf. I Please tell me it's Wolf. Yeah, right. Yep. If I got that wrong, I would have got back in my car and left. Um, so, unfortunately, we have a little bit of an issue, all right? We have reports of you sitting um, across from that property right there and just sitting there watching it for a couple hours. Um, the occupants inside are starting to get a little bit worried. All right, now, if I'm not... Um, I'm not wrong. They have reported to us that you've been sitting across. Excuse me, I forgot to say them if I'm not wrong. But and we have reports of you sitting across from the property, sitting there for hours upon end, and the, the occupants inside are getting a little bit uneasy. Mm, not exactly right, but close. So, what crime have I committed? You haven't committed a crime, but I mean, right now you're just being detained on, on behalf of us conducting investigations. So. Well, then I will let you conduct your investigation. Okay, would you mind answering my question if I ask you a couple then? Most likely I will. Okay. Is there any purpose of you being out here tonight? You know, just sitting on the side of the road looking at the property for the past couple hours, or...? Yes, there is a reason for it. There's a purpose for it. Do you mind disclosing that reason to me? Uh, not at this time. Okay. Is it confidential information? Is it for something you're working for, or is it just purely for research purposes, we'll call it? We'll call it research. Okay, you have an ID on you? Yes, I do. Fantastic. You provide that to me? Eh, it's going to be a little difficult. I prefer staying as anonymous as possible. But if I'm um, obligated to give it to you, I will. Well, yes, sir. You're being detained by a law enforcement officer. If you refuse to identify to me, then so you do identify to a law enforcement officer. I don't even need your ID. I just need to see it, and I can get a name off it. I can give it straight back to you. Name is Vol. You got a second name? Rail. 
Okay. You got an ID picture just to show me? Yeah. Awesome. Now, since we are talking, well, I, think... I would like to inform you that I do have my firearm on me. One that's, of my firearms. That's the, first, that's the first thing you should notify an officer of. Where's it at? It's on my right hip. Okay. As long as it stays there, we won't have an issue. In future, if you stop by a law enforcement officer, identify that firearm straight away, okay? You mind taking off your helmet for me? Yeah, I prefer to keep it on right now. I'm asking you to remove your helmet, sir. I need it off so I can identify you to the ID picture. Yeah, no, it's always Wolf, though. They're gonna get him, they're gonna Fantastic. start making him be uncompliant in a second. Fantastic. Okay. Um, are you aware of who, uh, Wolf, would you mind running this for me if I hand it to you? Uh, uh yeah. What's the name? Excuse me if I tell you the name. Sorry. Uh, Vol. Paul, did you say, sir? <laughs> Not Vol quite Rail, excuse real. me. Vol Rail. Yeah, Vol Rail. Okay, mister, are you aware who uh, occupies that residency right now? Uh, which residence? The residence to which you were deciding to stare at for a couple hours. <laughs> Well, considering that I've done my research of that property, yes, I know exactly who resides there. Okay. Is your, uh, are your intentions here looking at that home, are they malicious, or is it just, once again, can, you know, strictly for research purposes? I was going to say for research, but in all technicality, it could be malicious, and you wouldn't know. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Wolf. Um, okay, you have a paper plate for this uh, motorcycle? Don't need one. I'm not saying you need one. I'm just asking if you have one. Nope. There. I haven't seen no. you driving on the roadway, so you haven't committed a crime with that. So, you have proof of purchase papers? Nope. So, where'd you get the bike from? Place that sells them. Okay, and they gave you no paperwork or anything to prove that you now own this motorcycle and purchased it legally? I'm not saying that. Say that again? I didn't say that. Okay. So, what papers do you have to prove? You know, prove you have ownership of the motorcycle. Hey, Aaron, you good? Yeah, I'm good, Wolf. All right. Don't get shot. Don't get stabbed. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you have any proof of purchase papers, anything like that, that uh, proves you own, you have, you are the owner of that motorcycle? Nope. Okay. Well, that might be an issue in the future. Um, as I said, turn off the bike, please. It's very loud. I can't hear myself. Thank you. Must have quiet thoughts. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Okay, um, so do you want to describe to me at all what you did today? Run me through your day from start to finish? Not really, no. Say that again? I said not really, no. I don't want to tell you. Okay. <laughs> he's starting to get irritated. Yeah, but I would. Like, he's in a better mood than the other time because he's found his son, but he's irritated because he <laughs> hasn't done anything. So he doesn't really want to talk to them. Okay, so you said you're just out here for research purposes, and that's it. Yeah, exactly. Technically okay. not a lie. All right, well, right now I don't have anything to hold you against, right? You haven't committed a crime. All right, my, con my investigation is conducted as far as much with you. I appreciate your compliance. All right, you can place back on your helmet. You can uh, put your ID back in your pocket. All right, and once you leave and you're out of here, you can hail your firearm with free. Excuse me, with freedom once again. All right, I appreciate your compliance. Stay safe. Have a good why would why did you make me turn the bike off if you're literally gonna let me go like a few seconds later? That doesn't make any sense to me.
I see you over there, buddy. So right now what Darren is doing, he's attaching a note to the bike for Darren. Just as letting him know that, hey, I'm around. I don't know, Wolf's just... He's always Wolf. And Vol's a little sassy. He'll give him sass. Like the whole... Uh, can't hear myself think. Well, you have quiet thoughts then. Yeah, we'll give him a little bit of sass. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. I should go down the city? No. There's a lot of people in the city right now and only a few civs in the county, so there's a huge scene going on down there. Don't know what it is, but plus certain parts of the city I end up crashing in a lot. This is Val. This is Darren's dad.
I'm gonna turn the caps off. He's gonna go to the hotel real fast and pick up his truck. He's been staying over here even though he lives in Polito, just because it's just closer and he doesn't wanna dismiss him over here. I just want to have a bunch of vehicles running, running around. Let's see vehicles. Road. Let's get paranoid when the when there's a. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the bits. That was a horrible way to go.
Do I still have my helmet on, by the way? Yes. Keep it in here. Good. Hey, Marty, he didn't need you to run away. Thank you all. Yeah, if you're in a vehicle, they're, they'll run away. If you're on foot, they'll run after you. Really? This thing does not have the greatest turning in the world. Okay. I'm about to do something too. bad idea. What am I about to do? You gotta see. You just gotta wait and see. Get out. Take a step back. The key's still on it? Yep. Oh, baby, no. I don't know if it was a good sound.
Sound resumed. Sandwich now one. What's the location of your emergency? Oh, I'm gonna need some backup. I'm gonna need some backup at three zero five one. I just had someone to steal my vehicle, and I have shot a few shots off at them. Okay, what does the vehicle look like that's stolen? It's a dark blue and black Sand King. Um, yeah, probably has a few shots in it. I just see the vehicle right now, but it's stopped. I'm not sure if they're still in it or not. I could go in over there and try to shoot them if we want. Okay, I would suggest staying um, where you're at right now. You said they were stopped? Yeah, currently my truck is stopped, but I don't know if they're in it or not. I don't have that okay. good eyesight. Do you have a nearest address? Uh, I'm over behind the gas station at 3051 on some dirt road. They're kind of closer to 3049, which I'm actually making my way over there right now. Okay, I would suggest staying at your uh, at the place where you originally were. Not really not good at staying person. still. Which road is this gonna be on? There's a bunch of dunes over behind the gas station, and the truck is over there, and I'm kind of making my way towards it. Okay, uh, are you a local call? Nope. Okay, can I have your name? Name is Vol. Okay, and and, what's your and last name? yes, I do have my gun out. Last name's Rail. Okay, what's the license plate of your uh, vehicle? Oh, I don't know that. Uh, Victor Romeo 986 X-Ray X-Ray Okay, just hang on for one second uh, We'll have uh, law enforcement in route as soon as possible Oh, I'm still making my way to the vehicle Luckily the dunes are providing some cover Um, I would suggest not going towards the vehicle, all right? Too late. Got two tires. Okay, you're at the vehicle right now? It's empty, yeah. Okay, is there anyone inside that vehicle right now? Nope. I'm on top of it trying to get a good vantage point to see if I could find this piece of crap. Okay, you didn't see which way you took off? No, but I see a person standing around here. I'm gonna go ask them. <laughs> Ball isn't one to sit down and not do anything.
Okay, I've got law enforcement and right and route right now. Um, feel free to call back if you've got uh, some more update on the situation. Thank you for calling. You were moved. Yeah, he doesn't Sound sit back good. and and not do anything. He. He has a personal vendetta right now. Yeah, that's why I'm over here. I know that he ditched it. I know exactly that he ditched it. Because I found the truck. He's another gun, doesn't he? Yeah, this isn't going to be a scary sight for them. I'm not going to be scary at all. this back out. So I got two tires.